I didn't start creating music until I was an adult. Up until then, I was really obsessed with music since I was a child. I guess there were signs that I was more to be somebody who made music than learned other people's music and played it well. I remember playing piano, not really in like a normal way. I did this thing where I would just hold onto the sustain pedal and press, you know, as many keys as possible and just listen to this like really murky, dissonant ringing. And I'd like open the piano lid and be like, ah. and my teacher would be like, what are you doing? I downloaded Ableton when I was 22 and I just never looked back. And I stuck with Ableton because it came with really good sound design and like audio effect built in plugins. I got this answer I've been looking for, like, oh, this is what I want to do. I was born in Tokyo. I moved to Beijing when I was six with my family. I'm half Chinese, half Japanese. But because I don't hold a Chinese passport, I went to international school. And that's where I like got to know some Western culture. But you know, I was very far from like any sort of dance music. I think this is the biggest difference I noticed when I talk with producers in the UK. They say like, oh, I started going to raves when I was like 16 or my dad played records. I didn't really have that. I did all of my digging on the internet. And then whenever I went back to Japan, I would go to Tower Records and buy loads of CDs. There's something in common between all of the things I like no matter the genre. And it's the way the sound sounds in that track. And then I eventually learned that this is what production is, what this is what sound design is. And I would play this game in my head like, I like this song, but it's a shame about this synthesizer because I would not use that sound. And then I would make a version in my head where I would replace the sound I didn't like with the sound I liked more and be like, oh, I wish this is how it sounded. And, but I didn't know how to do it. Um, when I downloaded Ableton at age 22, I was like, oh my God, I get to do this now. I get to take out this stupid synth stab and put in something better. That's how I started, really. I started clubbing. It was just like top 40. And I still do enjoy like really well-made top 40s as well but it didn't like it didn't musically stimulate me that much and it was when I got to London and I started going to clubs where I was like oh my god like this music is mind-blowing it's new it's what I want to listen to and it's like sounds I've never heard before but would have liked to hear that's how I built my like repertoire of the music I make now it's like sounds I haven't heard before or sounds I haven't heard manipulated or combined in a certain way that I haven't heard before that I would like to hear. And that's been my only goal in production, really. In this course, we're gonna look at how you can create selfishly. I'll be explaining the concept of selfish creation and how going against stylistic conventions in music can help you become more creative and help you make more unique sounds. I will also be talking about how I listen to sound as a purely an audio experience, how you can open your mind to different sounds that can influence you as an artist. Let's begin.